Hi there. In this video, we're going to introduce your next homework assignment, Assassin Manager. So you might have heard of the game of Assassin, but if you haven't, that's okay. You don't really need to know how to play the game outside of what we describe in the spec. So the game of Assassin, a group of players get together and they form essentially what we call a kill ring of who is uh, targeting who. Now in this game, no one actually gets hurt. It's all like tag or something like that. But in this example, when we have a group of five people, we set up so Joe is stalking Sally, who's stalking Jim, who's stalking Carol, who's stalking Chris, who is then stalking Joe. So we think about the kill ring as a circular structure, but the way we're going to represent it with our uh, link list is we're going to have a, a null terminated list, meaning the last person's next is going to be null, and that signifies they're stalking the first person. Now, using a link list for this game is going to be very useful because it makes uh, changing the links around when someone gets assassinated um, a relatively fast operation. So for example, if we start with this, this kill ring and then Sally assassinated Jim, well then now we could just remove Jim's node and then Sally is now targeting Carol. Okay. In this assignment, you will be representing this list of names using what we call assassin nodes. So assassin nodes are very similar to the list node we saw in class, but instead it's going to be have a couple extra things. It's going to be different in two major ways. The first is instead of having one data field, it's going to have two. So it's going to have the name of the person, and we're going to store for printing later who killed that person whenever they get killed. So we're going to have two things, name and killer, and then the next, like we always need for this list node application. The other big difference is we're gonna make the name field final. So we've seen the final keyword before in Java, but we haven't quite seen it in the context with a field. If you make a field final, you're not able to change it once you construct the object. So by making the name field final, once you construct an assassin node, you're not allowed to set its name. This is a restriction we're putting on you for this assignment because we want you to modify the list by changing the links rather than by changing the name field. So you should, you don't have to write assassin node, we wrote that for you, and you should use the one we gave you without modifying it. Like every other assignment, our specification also has um, a method table that describes all the methods and constructors that you're going to need for this assignment. As a reminder, you should always look out for these danger bendy signs for important points to make sure you remember in this assignment. Um, there are a lot of methods in this assignment, but they have some similarities between them and you could you should do all of these first before attempting the very last method called kill kill is going to be the hardest method on this assignment so you should definitely do all the other methods first kill will be the hardest and we recommend attempting that last now friday's lecture was all about how do we debug and think through difficult methods which will be a helpful skill for you when you're working with the kill method as a reminder, for example, some danger bendy signs that I mentioned, some important common misconception is when we're talking about print kill ring, when we say X is stalking Y, both X and Y are not literal strings you should print. Those are placeholders for the name. So we show you an example output here of what this looks like. Let me show you what happens when you run the main program we provided called Assassin Main. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and run it. And it asks you which file we're going to use. There are many files you can use that have different names, and you're welcome to create your own. I'm going to use names3.txt. And it also asks me if I want to shuffle it. I'm going to say no. And it's showing the current kill ring based off the names in this file. So Athos is stalking Porthos, Porthos is stalking Aramis, Aramis is stalking Athos. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's kill Aramis. And now that we killed him, it calls the kill method on your assassin manager and goes through and rearrange, you're supposed to rearrange the links such that Aramis gets removed from the kill ring and gets moved into the graveyard instead. And then we can go ahead and kill Athos as well and it prints out the new kill ring and it also prints out the graveyard. We are very explicit in the spec for this assignment that you should only have two fields in this in this class, one for keeping track of the front of the kill ring and one for keeping track of the front of the graveyard. You don't need any other fields to solve this problem and you should not include any others. 
We recommend, just like I was doing in lecture, that you write your own test program to go along with this. It doesn't have to be anything complicated like we had for assignment one. Just something that constructs a small assassin manager and calls a couple methods and prints out the results. That will be very helpful for any debugging if you can target specific test cases. As a reminder, you should always be checking our general style deductions in the, st um, in the style guide. So there have been updated general style deductions for things that you might want to be paying attention, particular attention to this week. And last but not least, there is always a set of frequently asked questions. This is a great thing to check. What I want to highlight in particular, which is outlined in the spec, is as I mentioned, we think about this kill ring as being a circular structure, but you should not implement it as a circular link list where the last node points to the first node. You are welcome to if you want to um, try that approach, but that approach is much, much harder. We do not recommend it. Uh, on top of that, TAs will not help you with this circular link list solution in IPL. We encourage everyone to do the implementation we are suggesting because it is the simplest to do. Now, the last thing I'm going to mention about debugging your assignment is you could use the JGRAS debugger to look at the nodes. And actually, with linked lists, the debugger is really useful for looking at where current is and where all the other, the other nodes are. For this assignment, to make sure that it shows up correctly in the JGAS debugger, you need to follow these instructions to set up the JGAS debugger to look at the nodes correctly. But the JGAS debugger will be very helpful for you looking through what these nodes are doing. That's everything I have. Best of luck on this assignment.